<laughs> so the next project I want to talk about is it's called Mchopa. And basically in 2007, I got a chance to fly to Tanzania uh, to, for Google.org to serve as a, a guest lecturer and a consultant for this national business plan competition that Google.org was putting together. And while I was there, um, I got to meet an artist by the name of Gregory Mchopa. And the story is like, a, you know, he kind of worked in this alleyway that was just across the street from the building I was working in while I was there. I think I was just there for a couple weeks. And there's this artist village where you walk into this alleyway and there's just tons of art like to the right and left of you. And there was just these set of paintings that I just thought were super compelling and looked really cool. And um, I just thought they were amazing. And um, I started asking people like, you know, who, who like does this stuff? And they're like, oh, it's just Greg. He's just right, like, right down there. And I got to meet him. I was like, holy crap. And, you know, like, I just saw your artwork and it's really cool. And he was like basically the same age as me and this other coworker who was there with me. And so we just totally chatted it up. Um, I think that night we even like took him out for a beer. And it was just really cool to connect with another artist from like somewhere totally across the world from us. And he got a chance to kind of share the challenges he had as an artist. Uh, living in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, where it would just be really cool if he had just more traffic. He's basically, I sell paintings when people are tourists or locals who come by this alleyway and like what they see and then they buy it. So this idea I had was like, man, imagine if we can set up like a website for him so that his marketplace kind of expands from this small alleyway to entire, the, basically the entire world. So some other pictures of these paintings that he draws. Um, and then what we decided to do was like, yeah, like, let's try to do something to help. And so in our minds, the logical thing to do is to smuggle a bunch of paintings back to the U.S. and try to help them sell it. So here's a picture of us kind of getting all these uh, paintings in a tube, stuffing it into our luggage bag and trying to get it back to the, back to the U.S. And uh, it was actually really interesting because I had to get, so basically there was this other guy with me named Scott. And he had to fly through South Africa back to the Bay Area and I was flying through Israel back to the Bay Area and so it was no easy feat to kind of get it through those security um, places in the, <laughs> in, the, in the airports but we got it back and we were actually able to launch a website and so I'm actually going to demo the website for you guys really quick and um, kind of explain to you uh, the project as I, as I show you the website. This is the website we made for him, and the thinking behind this was we just wanted to come up with a super clean UI where, or user interface so that it was really the story of the artist and the artwork that would kind of shine through. And so I'll just kind of browse this really quick and kind of tell you the story of how this thing was built. So at the time, in um, this is going to sound super silly and cheesy, but it's actually a true story, so um, hopefully it's somewhat entertaining. So as a group at the time, we didn't have any engineers or just people who could design websites. Like we could, in Illustrator, make something like look cool, but then we wouldn't actually have the code in the back to make it actually work. And it was a time where at Google, I was working on basically kind of helping manage our email marketing communications. And so my team started to grow and there was this guy who joined my team, Danny Bowman, who's actually sitting here. And he was just a super smart guy, and I always tell him like he's one of the smartest guys I've ever met, and he thinks I'm joking, but it's true. And I had a dream one, one night, and like, we always had this like idea that, man, we need to build this website, because the whole vision is, if we could design a, t uh, 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 a website for one artist, and it can scale, you know, like you can meet an artist like totally somewhere else in the world and get a website up and running for him. So I had this dream one night that Danny would have the skills to build this website. So the next day I go to work and I go, yo, I had this dream last night that you can build this thing, even though I know you don't know too much programming, but I think you can do it because I had this dream that you can do it. <laughs> um, 
and I was like, do you want to make my dream come true? And, do it. and he said, sure, I, I think I could figure it out. I have some friends who know like some programming and uh, I'll commit to doing it. Um, so that's basically the story. It's a true story. And uh, that website you're seeing up here was completely programmed by him. And basically we were able to get this lightweight website up for him. And we were able to sell a good amount of paintings. And the cool thing about this was also a couple things. So first, although we were able to sell paintings and effectively change this guy's life, like per capita, I think in Tanzania, it's like a few hundred dollars a year per person. Um, so just being able to sell a significant stack of those paintings we smuggled over, like radically changed his life. Where I think he's actually rich now. Like he might drive a better car than I get to drive here, um, which is really interesting. Because I get copied on some of his emails, and he recently just put a bid on a BMW or something. I was like, that's awesome. You know? uh, so, um, and like we're in touch all the time, and he's always trying to like, just you know, he 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 wants to thank us and stuff, but he's also just trying to figure out like, man, how can we grow this? But how can I also help? the other artists that are kind of in this artist village that are like we're with. So it's not some guy who's just like, oh, he got rich and then uh, he's not giving back or whatever. Like he totally appreciates it. And like in some ways it was just, it was so this serendipitous moment because we met this guy in Tanzania and we totally hit it off just as like friends, not just like, oh, I want to help you. And then the other cool thing was because we were working at Google, this whole website is completely run off of free products that Google offers. So we use Google Checkout for the credit card processing. We use Google Spreadsheets to manage the, the inventory, um, which was something I knew nothing about back, back in the day. I wish I had this now to sell my t-shirts. Um, but uh, we also were able to use App Engine, which kind of allowed us to host this website. And so it was really cool to just kind of see how technology is moving, how it can help emerging entrepreneurs, and how these free tools that different tech companies are building can actually help lift people out of poverty. So that's the story of Mchopa. Going back to the deck a little bit, um, the, the kind of future provision of this is I think we've had this back end created so that I think there's actually three artists now that are using this very same infrastructure to kind of sell their art. And so it's just really cool to kind of see how a piece of technology that you built, not only like, you know, our, our original intention was just like, man, we're going to go through this manual work to help one uh, artist that I met just because like, man, here's a guy who is really talented. It'd be awesome if the world can see his talent and it could totally elevate him into this just better living situation. Um, and to see that kind of scale was just really cool. And uh, yeah, there's actually more artists doing this now, are using this platform, and uh, we're gonna, we're basically trying to open source it so that you can kind of go out on our website, download all the code, and basically, you know, kind of go through like a simple wizard or some instructions we have and kind of get a website up and going with the stuff that Danny built that he didn't know he can build.